what do you think everybody's legacy is going to be? Like, what's Kobe's legacy is going to be? Did he ever reach past Jordan, like the way he was always trying to get he, to? He's not past Jordan. I mean, he he's he's one A to Jordan, but that's just going to be what it is. But as far as being the best Kobe, that doesn't hurt. That doesn't say just because we're saying he's not better than Jordan doesn't mean Kobe's not that guy. He was <laughs> he was somewhat in the past year or so disappearing in the argument when it got to a point where everybody was talking about LeBron being better than Jordan. And I felt like LeBron didn't even surpass Kobe yet. Yeah. But he was disappearing just a little bit, doing the link in the, in the conversation. Now it brought a little bit more light of like people like, no, nah, this dude was. But right what I, what I right will there. tell you, what I will say though, that Kobe is number two on my, on my all time athletes list for on and off the court. I put LeBron number one for okay. that on and off the court. Kobe number two. And actually, Jordan might not even be in the top three. Because after that, because Jordan, he doesn't have that type of relationship with his kids. He's not known as a great father. And he's not known for helping people outside the game. When is the last per time you've ever heard an athlete say, Jordan did this for me. Jordan did that for me. Jordan helped my career. Besides just watching him and being inspired, that's about where Jordan's impact stops. So I, I push on that a little bit because – Actually, I have heard people say that. But Jordan, I would say Jordan does come from an era where athletes kept that separate and the media didn't cover it as much. Because oh, there were times where low-key, and mind you, I hate speaking about this because I despise Jordan. You and, he never, and he never, and he, no, he, he I never mean, talked on any issues, never did anything but like that, that. But a lot of athletes, I, I can't knock that against somebody because they didn't. Like, I, I, I push back I'm on that. Knocking, don't get me wrong. I, mean, I still love Jordan. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, I hated him. On this list, I this hated puts him, him, it, you're this making puts me him down the list to me, but on you, that list. But you're making me defend someone who I hated. So please <laughs> let me get this out so I can be done. My point is, is that because somebody did not say something, mm -hmm. I've learned to, as I gotten older to understand where they were at that time. It was a different era. Because he didn't say anything at all, it does not mean, like, Oh, he didn't feel anything on his issues. Like that's his individual choice. It wasn't going on in Muhammad Ali's era either. No, it actually was because in the '60s you did have to have. It was a different era. See, in the '90s, a lot of dudes was getting money, and they were just like they put a cap on it. In the '60s, they had, they put a microphone in front of you, and every black person who had, was alleged to have a cause. So it was a different era, but there was a period of time right, where well, in the '80s and the '90s it wasn't. Oh, and so when I'm that's standing, the '70s. Never mind. I was about to say Jim Brown, but that's the '70s. No, no, no. Actually, Jim Brown was the '60s and the '70s. He was the '60s and '70s. So yeah, that's what I said. Thing. That's what I said. But my point is, even even with that, I never held that to anybody that hard. And my thing. Is, is there are times where Jordan, on a low, did give out shoes and he did give out money, he did give out donations. But the media oh, I got one for you. Got one, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah, he also that's Kareem. the same era. Kareem played through, throughout the eighties. Okay, you're not hearing what I'm trying to say. All right, cool. You're, you're not hearing what I'm trying to say at all. What I'm trying to say is I'm just trying I don't to be argumentative, knock, right? No, what I'm trying <laughs> to say is is I don't knock somebody for not having anything that they say vocally to the media because I'm looking at the time scale of where they were. And I'm saying Jordan's prime in the 90s, it ain't too many athletes that were speaking out against any kind of causes in that period. In all honesty, like just because Magic Johnson was nice and we loved him, what political issues did Magic Johnson actually technically speak on? But that doesn't take that huh. doesn't mean that Magic didn't feel how he felt. Mm -hmm. And so all I'm saying is, is that we have to take things in context of what they are, but it doesn't shoot that down. What I will say is that today's era, they have a different scope on the media because of social media. So everything LeBron do, he can control that narrative a lot better than the average athlete was 30-something years ago. And mind you, I despise Jordan. I did not like him. And because Kobe got criticized for that too, because Kobe was the youngest from that era who didn't really say that much. Because remember, people jumped on Kobe a little bit for some of the things that he had said about the Trayvon Martin issue when he was like, well, we don't know what happened. And, and he had to get informed. Jamil Hill had talked about that on her podcast about how she had to have a two-hour conversation with Kobe to inform him about some of his comments were not the best things to say because Kobe was uninformed. But Kobe was going by his personal experience about how people judge him from the rape case. Mm -hmm. You understand? So all I'm saying is, is that when it comes to judging somebody off the court, we have to look at everything and what it is. The athlete that has the freedom now is completely different. But LeBron does rank high when it comes off the court. Yeah, LeBron. And to your if point, we have to say God's gift to the game. I would say LeBron. And what and what I will say is that I was looking forward. I would say Kobe ranks high as far as who I was looking forward to see how he was going to be after basketball. Like I was really more interested in what Kobe was getting ready to do more so than what he had done. And he was doing a lot I mean, as yeah. a father. He was doing with the Mamba, the, the Mamba um, sports. 
uh, Mamba Sports, whatever it was. It's Mamba Sports, his whole thing. He had the whole setup, his whole AAU team, what he was doing with the girls and the ambassador that he was being for female basketball Absolutely. as a whole is – is a lot. And he won an Oscar, dog. And he won an Oscar. He won an Oscar. Like, we can't bribe him. He won an Oscar. 